have got to stop doing this, okay? I sold all the Silver Tempest sleeves on the shop over the weekend. I had four packs left from my own personal collection. I said, fuck it, opened it up. And of course, naturally, off camera, comes one of my crowning achievements. The Lugia V Alt Art, safely and secure in my Vaultex binder. This is a Sword and Shield 12 Vaultex binder, by the way, but they have binders for every Scarlet and Violet main set. Matter of fact, SV6 just went up for sale as we speak. So if you need a binder for your Twilight Masquerade, which is coming out very soon, go to Vaultex.com, use code NOVABREAKX to save 10%. I cannot recommend Vaultex binders enough, even if they take a little while to get to you. Plug's kind of weird, but he's chill, okay? Today we're here to talk about something very important. Not all heroes wear capes but we might want to put a cape on these because they are coming to save the day. And what I mean by that is Target has had a very distinct collection of products that still have evolving skies in them. Target had these Hero V tins as well as Divergent Power tins and the Spring 2022 collector's chest that had evolving skies in them. So if you manage to eat on that, that's great. Divergent Power tins are still popping up every now and then, but by the time this video gets out, it's probably too late. So while Target might be kind of burned out at this point, if you ever manage to find these in the wild, any of these Hero V tins, what you wanna do is you wanna look at the top of the window right here above the promo for a yellow lining. That yellow lining is like a honeycomb on the black cardboard holder that holds the promo card. And that's gonna indicate that they have evolving skies in them. And the reason why I mentioned that is because Black Friday 2023, Target had these tins in double packs for $19.99. Now, while that was still a great deal, it was all reprint Scarlet Violet Base and Paldea Evolved. Vaultex, Pokemon.dg, Novabreak.com, our Discord, which I would love for you to join and come hang out and talk. All of that stuff is in the description below. So let's get started. This is what I mean by the honeycomb design on the promo holder. We have Brilliant Stars, Fusion Strike, and two Evolving Skies. So we should have six Evolving Skies, three Fusion, three Brilliant. I will be giving away all three of these promos to someone down in the comments below. So make sure that you like the, the video. Make sure that you're subscribed. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see more of from the channel in the future. And you'll be entered for a chance to win. And I'll pick somebody next week. All right, we're going to kick things off with Fusion Strike. Let's see if we can get some hits before we get to the pain at the end with Evolving Skies. Nothing to start. What do you guys think? You think if I hit 500 subscribers, I should shave my head? I was thinking about it. I, the, the one thing that I am scared out of my mind to do is shave my head should I just go for it for 500 subs. We've got the Gengar V. Not, not a bad pull. Not a bad pull. Last pack of Fusion Strike. We've gotten a Gengar. That's, that's not bad. I'm hoping that we can get something crazy before going into Evolving Skies, but if we save it all for Evolving Skies, that would be great. I feel pretty good about today's opening. Klefki reverse into a Breloom V. All right, we'll take it. Brilliant Stars is up next. I actually got my um, sleeves ahead of time this time. So, you know, we're cooking with gas. I can roll right through it. You know, I've never really pulled anything crazy from Brilliant Stars. Uh, am I gonna start right now? Cause I definitely see something. Oops. Uh, we have a Grimstall reverse, which I actually think I needed and Dude, oh, I just built my Brilliant Stars binder the other day, and Shaman V Star is one of the very few rainbows that I do already have. So I would have loved to get a different one, but a, still a banger. Still a banger. I don't want to sound too ungrateful, okay? I don't want to sound too ungrateful, but we will take it. Two Vs and a Rainbow V-Star is already more than you can expect sometimes from these sets. So, you know what? We will take those. Come on, give me another one. Thor, or th Thor, throw. 
Magmar, Bidoof Reverse into Cling Clang, non hollow. That one opens so much cleaner. Last pack of Brilliant before we move on to Evolving Skies. Let's go with a bang. I'll take the Charizard all day. Never pulled it. I don't have anything good from Brilliant Stars, to be honest. Halucha, Thor, Magmar, Duskull Reverse into Tornadus non hollow. All right, Hero V10s and Evolving Skies, put your cape on. Time to save the day. We saved the best for last. Let's get it. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like a Rayquaza. Rayquaza V Max Alt Art would go absolutely insane. Hippopotas, Labebe Reverse into Curum Hollow. The sad part is even hollows are hard to pull in Evolving Skies, <laughs> but it's like, I don't know, ultimate cocktease, whatever. I think we got something here though. I'm feeling good. Swablu, C Dot, Woobat, Eevee, Temple, Pyrrhal Reverse into Appleton Non Hollow. The market on Evolving Skies packs is like $11 right now, or even more at this point. I don't even know. So every one of these packs is just an absolute cry of pain if you don't get anything. So it's just. It doesn't get any easier to open these things. We have Scroll of the Fang Dragon Reverse into Drampa Non Hollow. Well, good luck trying to find these locally. If you're not in California, you might actually be able to, but if not, your only chance is probably online. Three packs of Evolving Skies left, including this one in my hand. So, can we actually get something? Woo Bat Reverse. This is probably the reverse that I've pulled the most out of any card in the world. And Entei Hollow. Haven't even managed to get a regular V at this point, but honestly, I'd rather get non hollows than regular Vs because I get so many regular Vs that it's almost just like an insult at this point. We do have something at the top. I can kind of see it. Do you guys see it? Come on. Moon and Sun Badge reverse into. Oh my god! Ah, ah, claw at my face! Ah. <sighs> that's that's the that's the ultimate tease, man. I'm getting blue balled by evolving skies right now. This is a this is a nice card. This is a really really nice card. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. I got so nervous for a second when I saw the silver border. I thought we were, I thought we were going there. I thought we were. Silence. One last Evolving Skies pack to rule them all. A Rayquaza full art, uh, probably, I don't know, if I had to guess, I'd probably say, you know, 10, 15 bucks max. It's a nice card, not nice enough to win the day, but we have one last opportunity right here. Come on, Evolving Skies, please. Trigonal Reverse Hollow into Tropius Non Hollow. It's a tradition to double down on the pain. So I'm gonna open one of my Evolving Skies sleeve boosters. Please don't let me regret this, okay? If I don't pull anything from this booster pack, and you have to go and buy a binder on vault -X and use my code to help support the channel. Or go to NovaBreak.com and buy something from the store. We have great prices. I doubt that I'm going to get anything from this, but we are going to try, okay? We're going to try. Real last pack magic from a sleeve booster box that I just pulled from above my computer. Off of a rack, Hippopotas reverse into. Oh my god, man. Blue balls! Espeon V Max, it wasn't a total fucking waste. That could have been very, very painful, very, very dumb decision, but I'll take an Espeon V Max. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Limits Break. We're almost to 500. Let's get it there. Don't forget about the giveaway. Don't forget about Vault -X. Don't forget about the, the store. 
we have tons of stuff coming in. Twilight Masquerade comes out in a couple of days. There's so much planned for the channel. <sighs> I'm grateful for you guys every step of the way. Thank you so much. I'll see you again soon. Peace.